Today we are going to be talking about a really, really bad form of pollution. I'd go as far as to say that it's worse than every other type of pollution. The pollution that I am actually talking about is air pollution. We've all heard about it and it is very dangerous and could probably lead to the end of the earth if we do not change it around soon. First, let's go into why this is so important. Well, air is something that every single thing on earth needs to survive. And if we are polluting that air with bad toxins, bad chemicals, bad gases, then that air is going to become deadly to us. If you were to visit big cities, for example, LA, you could actually see a giant, giant cloud full of bad chemicals, bad toxins, and bad gases hanging above the city. That is a really bad form of air pollution. The fact that beautiful cities such as LA are actually being ruined by it is really sad. Now there are other forms of pollution such as the one that we all really know and that is the pollution where people take trash, they do not throw it away but they just throw it out into the lakes, the oceans, onto the ground, in parks, everywhere around the earth. This pollution is bad because obviously if you threw trash into the ocean, the animals are going to eat it and die. And you're harming every plant that it touches. And you're really just harming the earth in general. But air pollution is different. Sure, some air pollution is actually created by the earth itself. But 95% of that is actually coming from our decisions. We as humans are actually causing these problems for air pollution. And here's why. To really understand this, we, we have to really figure out how air pollution actually exists and how air pollution actually works. You see, air pollution is actually created by the cars that we drive, the vehicles, and the facilities, the power plants, all of these different things add up to make air pollution. There is a lot of smog that comes out of cars that we drive. And if you really think, how many cars are there in the world? There is a ton, way more than you can even count. Imagine all of those cars on Earth spewing out smog into the Earth's atmosphere. That is a lot of smog going up into the Earth. It's absolutely insane. Power plants as well release deadly chemicals into the Earth's atmosphere. It's all collective. In fact, as of recent studies, it has actually shown that the air that is polluted today actually takes away one to two years of a normal human lifespan. One to two years just from air that we breathe. Now I'm sure you all heard of this event that happened a while back, back in 1952. It was a huge disaster called the Great Smog of London. This was a serious, serious form of air pollution and honestly something that our air right now might match soon. Now in the Great Smog of London, it actually killed more than 8,000 people. 8,000! And the fact that we're heading in that direction right now just proves to us that we just need to do something different. Now we're gonna go into a really, really scary fact. And this fact is that 9 out of 10 people actually breathe harmful, polluted air. 9 out of 10! Just imagine a world where there's no fresh air. You can't go outside to get fresh air. You go outside and you're hit with these harmful toxins everywhere you go. That is likely to happen soon. Now that we know the facts, let's dive into how we can actually fix this. Because I know everyone watching right now does not want to breathe harmful toxins in the air. Here are some quick ways that we can actually fix air pollution. Number one is that we can make public transport very, very, very cheap or we can make it free. Why would this help? Well. Obviously, people drive their cars in big cities because they have no other way of transport except their cars. Now, let's say we can just get rid of cars altogether and we made public transport free. Everybody would be using public transport instead of their cars. Think really quickly about a world with no cars but instead only public transport. Imagine how much less smog that would be going into the Earth's atmosphere. There is actually a website known as Resources for the Future. If you guys would like to donate to them to help solve this massive problem that could kill millions or even more, I encourage you all to go to that website, 
rff.org and go help make a change.